Here we are at Fort Flagler State Park. We've been here before. First time in our Winnebago Travado. Cackling geese above us. Right across from Port Townsend. Check-in time's 2.30. And we checked in a little early, because no one was there. Our van looks really small relative to the other campers. We're gonna check out the beach. We're getting a mixture of clouds and a little bit of drizzle. Supposed to get sunny later today and tomorrow. Sky's happy to be here. Nice, smooth, easy to walk on beach. Still limping, but not complaining. <laughs> Another view of our van from the beach. This guy says, freedom. We're gonna let her go off leash for a bit. The beach is empty. This guy loves the beach. It's been a while since we've been on a beach off leash, mostly because of her injuries. But the x-ray showed no orthopedic injury, just soft tissue. Gotta chill a little bit. Go get him. <laughs> That's one happy camper. Looks like we've got sunshine on Whidbey Island. Let's hope it's moving this way. Oh, she found a stick. That's my stick. That's my stick. That's my stick. That's my stick. There she goes, her bluff climbing. Danger, falling debris, stay off hillside. Clearly there's plenty of falling debris and trees. There she comes, there she goes. Back up. Speaking of debris and trees, you don't want to be involved in a landslide. Here are the concrete monoliths, remnants from the World War II fort above, cascading down the bluff from all the erosion. Coming down. She found her tail. <laughs> Ferry boat offloaded, loaded up again, and is headed back to Coopville on Whidbey Island. Over there. And she goes higher and higher. Sky. You're up high, Sky. Oh, we went higher yet. Oh my. Talking about 30 feet off the ground. <laughs> you gonna go up the next level, Sky? Yep. Uh -oh. Someone dug out a little cave there. Hi, Sky. 
Oh my, she's going up even higher. The only way down is back. Oh. She got the message, go back. Overhead eagle. Nice. There she is. Elk hounds are skilled climbers. Let's see what she does with getting down. There she go. There she is. Good job, Sky. <laughs> I bet she wants to chill in the ocean. Well, she's up on top again. What are you doing up there, Sky? take the path through the woods back to the campground. Getting right into the campground now. Still on the path. This would have been a nice spot too. Restrooms and showers, dumpsters, and another view of our camper. Diane's preparing a lunch for us. Lily's benefiting from the warmth of the sunshine. We're leaving the benches as they are, so we have an aisle during the day. But tonight, for the first time, we're going to make the full bed. We'll see how that works. This is one of our more exotic meals. Not too funny. <laughs> Ham and cheese with a little honey mustard. I'm just going to go like this. You can turn off the camera. Okay. Now. Everybody knows how to make a sandwich. Well, I don't know, but in a camper van like ours? <laughs> <laughs> now for the secret ingredient. If I can get it out. I'm just going to have mine on crackers. Cucumber. I had enough bread today. Add a little crunch. Need one more. Ah, they're slippery. They don't want you to eat them. And I got some lettuce down below, too. I've been given an assignment. Yeah, that I can do. That looks like spinach. Yeah. Mm. All right. We're going to eat out on the picnic table. Yep. Oh, this is nice and cold. Right. Here we go. And for a little bit more crisp and salt. Can I take it now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Be careful. Go oh, ahead. I'll be careful. Out to the picnic table. Don't spill. Hi, Sky. All right, here we go. The beverages. One at a time. So Diane will be joining me here in a second. But meanwhile, I'm going to start. Still snoozing, but a perfect location for Lily. This guy found something fun to dig up. Looks like a chunk of sod. Someone in there, this guy? Surprise, there's someone in here. Oh, two you didn't even see 
Aww. Sky and Lily are buddies. We're so fortunate they like each other. So we're setting up to watch a movie or maybe some TV. We'll see what we get here. The TV's going through its uh, detecting channels. It's detected 67 channels. MacGyver. You really believe that, don't you? That's an old one. Uh, we're listening to uh, a council, Washington State, discussing artificial intelligence. Microsoft sees enormous opportunity for and it's interesting. AI powered tools to empower Microsoft workers. is now speaking. Empowerment of workers is one of those consistent themes. The impact of AI on the way that we work and importantly, the skills that are going to be needed for the workforce of the future. Actually having conversations with the workers who are potentially going to be impacted by these technologies is critically important and something that we're investing in. We certainly as a company are talking to our employees has been to provide nonpartisan um, good day to sleep at our 20 about 30 more minutes until sunset. Approaching sunset our first night at Fort Flagler State Park. This guy, come on. Beautiful. This guy doesn't care about a sunset, no matter how beautiful. Goodbye, sunshine. See you tomorrow. What'd you think? Beautiful. Yep, got it. So that was an epic sunset here at Fort Flagler. Oh, yeah. yummy. Um, chicken teriyaki bowl. Okay, there it is. In the mic. Uh -huh. Now that's glamping. Uh, hey, uh, Terrence. Deputy Chief Johnson mm. here has a sick cat. Can you? Maria Calendar. Really good meals that are frozen. Chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, oral medication. AstraZeneca may be able to help. This one is 350 calories. I love my Good. Are you wet? Period underwear makes life so much easier. I don't think I could ever go back to just using my arms and tampons. Just throw them in the laundry and find a Medicare Advantage plan that fits you. Help get started at ehealth.com. Now, let's check in on those Japanese. The same plans at the same price. So we're having a problem with setting this bed up. It's bigger than we thought it was. Yeah. So the sheets are not quite fitting here. Is it bigger than a queen? I don't know. What does the book say? And the sheets did not quite work. It's so like king size. Yeah. It doesn't fit. Oh well, this is why we do a test camping trip. Where are the kids? One's underneath the bed and the other one's up front. Oh. So we're ready for bed.